A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3. One day, Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer at three o'clock in the afternoon. And a man lame from birth was being carried in. People would lay him daily at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate so that he could ask for alms from those entering the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked them for alms. Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. And the man fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have no silver or gold, but what I have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up. And immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. Jumping up, the man stood and began to walk, and he entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. All the people saw him walking and praising God, and they recognized him as the man who used to sit and ask for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. What I have, I give you. This is what St. Peter had said to the man, born lame, before he healed him. St. Peter received not silver or gold, but the power to heal in the name of Christ Jesus. And he shared this gift freely. Here nothing is unusual. This is common sense. We give what we have. As a priest and pastor, often I fall into temptations of pretension and presumption that lead me to hypocrisy. I pretend to be more than what I am. I presume to enjoy certain power and grace. I might please someone for a moment with this pretension and presumption, but I don't give anything in fact. This pandemic tests what I really have as a man, as a priest, and as a pastor. And it also tests me if I have a strong will to give what I have. But at the same time, I realize it is not really I who work here. It is Christ who works in me. Before Jesus fed those thousands of people, he had asked his disciples to feed them. When they were dismayed of their inability, Jesus asked for anything they had. A boy offered Jesus five loaves of bread and two fish, and they were enough for Jesus to cause the miracle. Whatever I give Jesus, he will multiply. I don't have much, but it may be enough to give. This pandemic seems a difficult time to share because we cannot easily meet people. But please do share whatever you already have. Time is a great thing to share now. With those at home, you may renew and deepen your relationships with them by sharing more time. With those afar, you may connect more frequently to rekindle your relationships. You already have much to give. Let us give something to Jesus and let Jesus work in our life now.